got uh, off week uh, this week, obviously. We're uh, just to give you an update of kind of how we're going to approach it. We're going to, uh, it, it has a lot to do with, and you've heard me say this a good bit, but player development is extremely important this week. We're not going to spend a tremendous amount of time on Iowa State until next week. Um, you know, uh, but coaches are going to start game planning and getting their stuff together, but th this week's more about uh, just coaching our guys. You know, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of guys that that their primary responsibility right now is, is to be on the scout teams. They're red shirting. They're uh, you know, they're not ready to play. They're too young. Whatever it is, um, we we will take those guys and practice on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and, and, and give them a lot of reps. You know, we're going to lose some of that time uh, in December, which you know some you, you all have asked me about this, but you know the, the time that we're not going to have to be able to rep them in, in December. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's really when you look at it, it's only about five or six uh, practices that you're losing. Uh, we'll make that up here this week and, and play a lot of ball uh, to just try to get those guys as, de as developed as we possibly can on the football field. So lo looking forward to be able to coach those guys um, here today, tomorrow, and, and, and Thursday. Uh, we'll get out on the road recruiting uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, you know, we're, we're still in an evaluation period. Uh, so we got all our coaches going out watching various games or going to high schools, getting transcripts and, and continuing the recruiting process. Uh, back to work Monday uh, for, for game week against Iowa State. We won't be in school, uh, so we'll be able to meet and, and practice all day Monday through Friday and, and then try to get a, get a win to finish the season. The day after that, starts recruiting, um, which is the contact period. That's when I'll get involved the first time I've been involved in December. Uh, from a recruiting uh, perspective, we'll be out, uh, you know, probably 10 days in December to try to get out there and, 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 and do some recruiting. So that, that, that's where we're at. We'll uh, take some questions. Your approach to this by week after the Baylor game, you gave the guys a lot of time off and said just to kind of get away from it. You wanted to let them recharge, refresh. Is that kind of the same approach with this, letting the starters, I mean, in addition to getting the young guys some, some experience, getting the starters some time away? Well, yeah, I mean, some of those starters need to keep playing ball. I mean, they're, they're, you know, we're, we're starting because we have to, so they need to keep playing ball. Other other starters like, you know, like Carl Joseph has a tremendous amount of snaps under his belt right now. Nick Kwiatkowski has played a lot of football this year. Um, Shaq Rao, you know, Will Clark, they've played a lot of snaps. So, yeah, you got to kind of get them. You can't just keep grinding them. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll use that as, as to be able to rest some of those older guys. But guys like Dontrell Hyman, who hasn't played very many snaps, needs to keep playing ball this week. That, that's just one example. But, uh, you know, uh, and, and then, you know, obviously all the red-shirted guys and all the uh, the guys that are not red-shirting but just not playing very many snaps, we'll, we'll, we'll practice We'll practice them a good bit. You know, you, th what do you do Thursday? You can't just practice them six, seven days in a row. I mean, you're, you're ultimately, you've got to give them some time off. Coach has got to go so you've got to try to figure out what the best balance is. Danny, have you evaluated those red shirts? What do you think of them? Have you seen much of them enough? Yeah, really, you know, you, you get into the, I mean, we, we, I got this sheet here that I walk around with every day and, and look at them and put a plus or a minus by a, a good bit of them. But you, you, you get into the weekly, you know, trying to approach the game to do your best to try to win the game. And a lot of those redshirted guys just, you know, they, they do scout team work or they, you know, they're, they're injured and they get in the weight room and the training room and just continue to try to get them, themselves where they can be functional. Uh, you, you lose sight of some of those guys at times and you don't spend as much time as you want to. That, that's what the importance of an off week is, is to be able to refocus on, on, on those guys and be able to, you know, kind of see where they're at and be able to coach them. And did you feel the number of snaps and the way he plays finally caught up with uh, Darwin Cook? Uh, yeah, the he's the broke down. Yeah, he, and, 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 and Carl's the same way because both those kids play hard now. I mean, they, they play with a lot of effort. and They, they leave it out there on the field. Um, you know, Dar, Darwin's groin got him. You know, we're, 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 we're a little beat up. And then he goes out in the first quarter, you know, and, and you don't have him for the whole game. Darrell Worley's shin. Uh, he really aggravated that. And you, you lose him for, for two quarters. It's obviously uh, you know not where you want to be. Uh, you need snaps. You need, you need depth. You, you know, yeah. I mean, when the guys play 92 snaps a game at the level that Carl plays at, it's going to catch up to. It's going to catch up to Darwin. Uh, you, 
you, you, you, you lose him, you put uh, Jared Harper in there. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a different level because of Jared's age, but Jared went in there and got good quality snaps and played well. Uh, he's going to be a good player for us, uh, you know, so you got to take advantage of the opportunity. What is Groin's issue? Groin, he should be fine. He's out this week, Could, would, would not be able to play this week, uh, but he'll rest all week and hopefully we get him back next week. And would you talk a little bit about, it seemed like all year long Will Clark got better as the year went on. I mean, and this past week looked like it might have been the best that he played. Uh, tell a little bit about what he, he's done as a senior in the life. Well, I, I, it's not the best he's played. Uh, he, he, not, not to say that in a negative way, he, he's played his way into being a potential very high draft pick. Um, he's played very well. Um, he's a guy that the snaps are catching up to him as well. You, you can't play at that level, at that position, 80-some snaps a game for, for for 12 straight games without it affecting what, what happens. So uh, I know he, 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 uh, he didn't grade out like he's been in the past, uh, you know, but with that said, he's, he's – one of the guys that we obviously look to for leadership. He's a tremendous leader. Um, he's got his degree. He does things right. Um, it, he's going to be a great pro because he attacks the game uh, the, the way you need to attack the game, just from an effort standpoint and, 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 and all that. So I'm really proud of him. You know, we're we're going to miss him once the season's over for sure. Tina, with your scout stuff this week and your, your young guy stuff, who plays quarterback for you? Good question. Do you have any? I mean, we don't have any. Well, I was going to offer you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to would you give one of those guys the extra work, or do you have one that you can know, work? Yeah. I mean, whoever's, you know, they're all three different. You know, Paul's healthy, has got more snaps than anybody on our team. Uh, you know, Clint's still dealing with his head injury. Uh, Ford's still got a muscle that's ripped in half. Uh, so whoever can take the snaps needs to get out there and take the snaps. We can certainly. Use them and continue to develop them. Uh, can't can't get a couple of guys signed up to take snaps today. So whoever's out there is good. After Saturday, uh, Shannon and Keith both talked about effort and, and kind of how they, they weren't pleased uh, in the aftermath of, of the loss. Going back, being able to look at it on film, your take on that and, and what you just saw yeah. energy wise. It beat us. The, the Texas game beat us. So I talked about it not happening, and it did. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're why? Yeah, just, just you guys can keep pointing the finger at me. That's that's what my job is. Uh, didn't reach them. Didn't didn't get them back. Uh, and, and that's on me. You know, I don't, I don't mind saying it. Um, first time all year that we didn't play with the effort and the energy that it takes to win the game. Uh, you know, there's been losses where I was. I was comfortable with the, not comfortable with the loss, but but I'm, I'm comfortable with the loss as long as it doesn't have to do with effort. All right. So if we, if, if we lose because of effort, that's where I get in a bad spot. And, and I saw it for the first time on Saturday. Frustrating for you? I mean, that it happened this late in the season, such a key game. I mean, well, sure, it's frustrating. I mean, of course, it's frustrating. Um, you know, um, just gotta keep coaching. Talked to Oliver since. I mean, did you guys yeah. have a, a state of the union between? Not yet. You guys? No, no, not yet. Um, you know, we we we, we visit a lot. He's I mean, my boss, so we're gonna talk a good bit. You know, so you know, he understands where we're at and understands where the program's at and understands what it takes to be able to get it better. And we're working hard on that. How important is that to you? How much does that mean to you to know that he's he's kind of got your back, sees that well, sees sure the direction you want? Yeah. It's pretty important. You know? He's a, he's a football guy. He understands what it takes to, to, to win. He understands what it takes to continue to get better and knows we're, we're on the right track. Danny, you mentioned recruiting. Recruiting needs as you guys go out. You've got a lot of commit so far, but what do you still need? Well, we're, we're for the first time in, I guess this would be my fourth recruiting class, you know, that, that and, you know, the, the first one was three quarters, you know, done before I got here selling the Big East. This, the second one was, you know, half half done selling the Big East and then half of it we could start talking about the Big 12 for the first time. And then last year 
was 100% talking about the Big 12. This year, for the first time in all four classes, we're, if we meet our quota, which is 25, you get 25 a year. If, you, if, we, if we meet our quota on 25, we're over our scholarship limit. So that, that, that's the first time that's been a potential to happen. So uh, the depth is building, you know, the, the, the numbers are getting right. Uh, you know, you don't want to lose guys, but, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is if guys don't go to class, they fill out. You know, if, if guys socially don't do the right thing, they're going to get kicked out. You know, so that, that, it just happens when you're dealing with 100 kids on your team. Uh, more than likely, we'll lose a couple for, for a variety of reasons. Uh, I'm comfortable being able to go out there and get to 25 because we're three quarters of the way there now to the point where we'll have a full roster for the first time since I've been here. You mentioned retention. How important is that? Because it's been an issue for you, and, and not only for players, but also your assistants. I mean, you've had a lot of turnover there. It's, a, it's an issue everywhere in college football. I mean, retention is something that you want to focus hard on. Uh, and, and we do want retention, you know, it, from a coaching perspective, it, it happens. I mean, it's, it's probably not going to not happen just if you look at the odds of, of, of how it is. Uh, but you do, you, you, want, you want retention with your coaching staff. You want retention with your players. Um, you know, you, you spend time coaching them, spend time giving them reps, and then you want that to, you know, lead to them guys improving and, and getting there on the field and having the results that you look forward to. mentioned facilities again on the call yesterday. Any short-term things? I mean, if what what is next on your list that you feel is the next step to keeping you guys on pace with, with the Big 12? Well, we're sitting in it. This, 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 I've said it, you know, and, and it's the next on the list. I mean, there's there's a list, and I'm not, you know, I don't think I'm being unreasonable when, with, with the requests that I'm, that I'm asking for. And, and, you know, we're, we're working hard on trying to get out there and raise the money that the money to be able to make some of this stuff reality. But my, my whole deal has always been about, you know, one was the weight room, you got to be able to develop in the weight room, we got that accomplished. Uh, you got to be able to meet appropriately, uh, which we can. You got to be able to practice appropriately, which we can. So th those are where we're headed. You say practice appropriately, would you like to turf the practice field? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Because it's a great, I mean, everybody says, well, you don't have the space. We live in a mountain. You don't have the space. Well, that's not true. We do have the space. And we use that practice field six times a year. So it's, I mean, what, what are we doing? You, know, you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't have to practice in your game field. Nobody else does it. So we have the space. We need to be able to, to utilize it. And the only way with the climate, with the, with the maintenance, the only way to do it is the turf. So that's, on, that, that, that's in our plans. When it can get done is all about being able to raise the appropriate funds to be able to pay for it. You don't have a problem with giving up the grass no. two times as you need. Mm -hmm. No, I think I think that's very overrated. Uh, if we're going to go play on real grass, you don't have to practice on real grass. It's it's just about having a, 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 a proper surface to be able to get your work done. And you know, if it's if it's real grass, that's fine. I'm comfortable with that as long as it. As long as it holds up. Um, right now, that, that that grass can't hold up. If you're on it and it's wet, you're tearing it up. You can't use it. How about the indoor facility? I mean, is, is that something you guys can upgrade, or if you wanted to upgrade that, would you need to start from scratch? Yeah, you got to blow it up. I mean, if you want to use it the way people want to be able to utilize your your, your indoor, which is from you know safe, safety is key. You know, you don't want to be able to. You, know, you, you need runoff, and you need a, a, a proper length. And kicking game in there, you, you, you have to go a little bit higher. You know. it, it's dysfunctional. We, we use it for some off-season stuff, but it need, need, needs to be a little bit more functional. I'm sure you haven't even started looking at Iowa State yet, correct? Uh, did a little bit yesterday. Did a little bit yesterday. Um, you know Chris Kalanikas, though, right? Kalanikas? Their, their offensive line coach, right? Pistol guy. And that's what they're doing this year. We just to make a change is one thing, but to get a guy like that who seems to know pretty well from Nevada, um, I don't know. In one year, what type of a difference can that make, or has that made for them? For their yeah, I haven't studied it enough. Uh, you know, we, we glance. I glance at some of their defensive stuff, which which I know what Wally does. And he's good at it. And they're not very. Good. 
complicated. Mm. They just coach hard, and their their guys play with tremendous effort. I have not looked at their offense enough to be able to comment on that. <coughs> All right, been fun. Thanks, guys. <laughs>